Today we're going to check out this Hot Wheels car that you can mount a GoPro on. Hey everyone, Sean here with photodeoxpro.com and check out this new Hot Wheels car. Hot Wheels came out with this earlier this summer and it's actually a car that you can mount a GoPro Hero Session on. Uh, and that's pretty cool because we actually make filters for the GoPro Hero Session, as well as a CPL filter and various metal mounts and accessories. So the minute I saw this, I knew I had to get it and we had to try it out. Now, unfortunately, GoPro has discontinued their Hero Session line, but they are still selling them in stores and there should be some around for at least a couple years to come. And it's a great camera. So if you have one, you should definitely check out this new crazy accessory. Okay, let's unbox it and then let's try to put our Hero Session camera on it, as well as this uh, Polaroid Cube, why not? Let's see if it fits. All right, so this is gonna be the simplest unboxing ever. Just pull that wrapper off, put that to the side. So it looks like it's pretty simple to mount. You just um, pull this lever backwards, and it looks like it's actually spring-loaded, which means you just kind of plop your GoPro into place here. So I guess it's just held in there with tension, but it doesn't look like the GoPro is going anywhere. It's pretty sturdy. And for kicks and giggles, let's just try the Polaroid Cube. Let's see if that also fits. Now the Polaroid Cube is kind of interesting. It's not a very good camera. Um, it's much cheaper than the Session. And actually GoPro and Polaroid had a little bit of legal disputes over who came up with the design first. They're very similar. But yeah, it's definitely not as good as the GoPro. Um, it is much more of a consumer camera. Yeah, it appears that it fits. It doesn't fit as well. It's gonna shake a little more. And it's more, there's probably more danger of it falling out. But yeah, yeah, it, it works. One of the main reasons I wanted to try this new Hot Wheels car out is I actually wanted to see if we could use our very own filter system for the GoPro Hero Session camera. This is a filter system we make for the Hero Session. Uh, it works with both the original Session and the Session 5. It comes in various ND strengths, so you can cut the light entering your camera and kind of slow down your shutter speed for smoother footage. What you'll notice is when you're shooting with your GoPro in very bright sunlight, uh, you're gonna notice that it uses a much faster shutter speed. You really wanna slow your shutter speed down, especially if you're going for a cinematic look with your GoPro footage, and the best way to do that is to add an ND filter. Now when you're shooting with the session by itself, it's super simple, you just slot it into the filter holder. But that's gonna be a little difficult with uh, this setup. <laughs> As you can see, there's not really enough room to have the filter uh, mounted on the Hot Wheels car. But not to worry, we can mod it. So I'm thinking we just remove this part altogether because we're not gonna need it. Right, we'll just keep the top part because that's going to keep the, um, the filter kind of seated at least on top of the camera. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to remove more filter. We're gonna have to make this circular filter um, more of a square. At this point, uh, we basically wrecked it. <laughs> okay, so pay no attention to all this this stuff that I ruined to make this. It's a little bit of trial and error, but um, as you can see, I think I've gotten pretty close to what I wanted here. Mount it over the car. Now, the one downside is we are going to have a little bit of light leak uh, through the bottom here. So I might put some tape right there uh, to kind of block it. And of course, we are gonna have a little bit of vignette. Uh, I mean, the camera is going to see part of the car anyway, so I might just crop in post. I might do kind of a widescreen crop to get rid of that vignette. So let's put this Hot Wheels GoPro filter Frankenstein monster hybrid on the track and see what we get. And we're off. In this first video, we're just shooting the session by itself on the Hot Wheels car. There's no filter on it. And here's the second video. And with the ND16 filter added, you can see that the footage is much smoother than the original. It's much less juddery. And again, just for kicks, here is the Polaroid cube going down the track. Uh, footage is not as nice looking as the GoPro's footage, 
but you know, you get what you pay for. And of course, we had to launch it into water because you know GoPros can go underwater. Uh, so, you know, why not? Well, that was a lot of fun. It's just too bad that GoPro has discontinued their Hero Session camera because it was an awesome camera specifically for being able to do things like this. You know, with this tiny little compact form factor, you can do stuff like put it on a Hot Wheels car and, and put weird Frankenstein filters on the front of it. And that's something that's a little harder to do with the standard, you know, GoPro brick design. Um, just a little more tricky. You wouldn't be able to do it uh, the same way as we were able to do it today. So hopefully GoPro listens to its user base and brings the session form factor back. I would personally love to see it come back, especially if they took some of the new features that they just announced for the GoPro Hero 7 Black and put it in a smaller form factor. That would be amazing. If you'd like to learn more about our GoPro Hero Session filters, specifically ones we haven't cut in two, click the links in the description below. And click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos just like this one. I'm Sean with Photo Deox, and happy hot wheeling.